What's going on, YouTube family? Welcome to the channel. Today's video is basically a quick update on my rifle builds, gun collection. So just an update. So anything gun related, I do want to upload something so y'all know what's going on. So just to let y'all know, on July 19th, 2024, I did order my Palmetto State Armory lower kit. Now, if you didn't see my videos before, I bought a pack of three Anderson lowers for $100, $108. Now, in every video, I might have to say this because we might have newer people come in. I live in Delaware now. There's no taxes. So if y'all ask me a question on how much I pay for things, doesn't matter what I pay for in this country. I'm not sure outside of the country, but if I pay for anything online, I don't have to pay taxes. So my stuff that I buy will be different from y'all. If y'all got to pay taxes, y'all got to include taxes and shipping. Me, all I got to do is worry about shipping pretty much. But anyway, that lower kit cost me exactly $99. So it should be here on Saturday. But in the meantime, I tried my best to build this AR-15 lower. Now, my vision is a little blurry. I'm on um, medication right now for an infection that I caught on my foot. So I got a wound on my foot. So it got infected somehow. I try to build this. My vision was so... It's not... The, it's not... Anything up close, I can't see. So... For example, you have little parts like this that goes into an AR-15, right? I just can't see them to do it. So I try my best to do it. But what happened was I end up breaking a spring. So pretty much there's a spring that goes behind this plate. I broke it because, you know, once again, it happens. You know, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have been trying to build it with my vision being blurry. So I was impatient because this is my first AR-15. I took it to a gun shop. Now, one thing about the gun shop was he gave me a free lock. He put this angle grip on. He gave me a 10 round magazine and he only charged me $40 to build this, which is amazing. But I wanted to learn myself because I do have four more rifles that I'm going to get. So pretty much that lower that's coming in on Saturday, that's for my 20 inch 556. I want to build a 300 blackout, a 308 AR 10. And I thought about it 16 inch rifle should not be a gun for your car because this is just too big. So I decided to want to do a pistol 11.5 upper pistol. So if you think about it, that's $160 that I got to pay at the gunsmith. Why not try to save some money by building it myself? You know, why not? So, oh, just to let you know, I know it says fire, but there's nothing in the magazine. It just, I don't like the way it looks without the magazine, but there's nothing in this magazine. It's completely empty. But anyway, I decided, even with my blurry vision, to try. So, I went out and I bought another Anderson lower kit. This is the same lower kit that's on this 5.56 or AR-15. I did buy a buffer tube assembly and it was also Anderson. But I took it back thinking I didn't need it. It was only $40. But now... I need it. So I got to go back tomorrow or maybe today to get it. I'm going to, I'm going to see. But anyway, I decided to try to build it even with my blurry eyes. So this is what I did so far. Blurry eyes and everything. The reason why this is um a little loose because I just put it in for the video so you can see. 
this thing is basically almost done. I'm only missing a few things and I have to go to a Home Depot later to get an Allen key. But this is the only tools you need. You need the Allen key. And in my opinion, I was watching a video and they have a thread tool that goes in here to make it more easier to put the spring. Cause all you gotta do, all you gotta do is basically put, let me see, this yellow, where is it? It's hard to see. Yeah, this yellow piece right here, that and this spring goes in that hole. Then you get the thread tool to thread it out. Then you put the, the takedown through that hole. And then that's done. Next, for the safety selector, you know, you put the safety selector right here. Then after you do that, you take that yellow one that looked like a bullet. You see how it's pointing down? You will put that in that hole right there. And this spring, which is where the spring at? Uh, right here. This spring right here. You could tell this is the spring that goes to the grip because this is actually stronger to bend. So you'll take that spring and you will put it where my hand do at. Give me one second, y'all. Let me find it. I don't know where I put it. I think it fell on the floor. Give me one second. Yep, it fell on the floor. So you put that spring in this hole right here. Now, I only got one hand, so I can't really show y'all. So with the gun, well, with the lower, you put it upside down. You put that detent, I think it's called detent, into that hole. Then you turn, then you take this, make sure with the spring sticking out already, you carefully put it in, line it up. Hold on, let me try to do this. You line it up and that's it. So then when you do that, you take the Allen key and you tighten everything down and you know, the safety selector will be done. The grip will be done. Now, when it comes to the buffer tube, the buffer tube is actually easy as well. So when it comes to the buffer tube, all you gotta do is, let me open this up a little bit. All you gotta do is put the castle nut just like this, tie it all the way down. Then you'll put this plate in front of it. You'll put the plate down here and you basically start twisting. I don't know what this is called. I don't know what this is called. The buffer tube assembly part. All you gotta do is just start tightening that down. Now you already put in the buffer tube and the spring already just like this. So now this next part right here, just like that, you're gonna put this spring part right here into, where is it? Into this hole right here. You put in that, that hole. Then once it's in there, you're gonna wanna push it down and finish screwing on the buffer tube. So basically once you get to this part of the buffer tube, you'll be fine. Then you're gonna wanna twist the buffer tube that's in it to where it can lock in like that. So once you do that, or once I do that, this is done. This is done. So as I said, all I gotta do is go get an Allen key in the buffer tube, and I completed this. And to put the stock on this particular stock, all you gotta do is, it's gonna be hard to do it, but just pull this down and put it over the buffer tube, and that's it. This gun will be completed. So the only thing I gotta do is get, um, Get the Allen key and the buffer tube, uh, the buffer tube assembly, and this lower is done. So I could now build all of my lowers myself. It was a little hard, and the only tools you need is the Allen key. You need some oil to put oil in some of these parts. A pin tool. Is it called pin tool? Let me see what the name of it is. I don't know. I know push something. Okay, okay, pin uh, pin punch. 
So I got this set from Harbor Freight. But you don't need none of this. This is the only one you need. So just take this one out. And that's all you need. So I'm going to go over how I built it. Now, when I do get the um, PSA one, I do want to do a video on it. But because my eyes are blurry, it may not be as entertaining as professionals are now. I'm not a professional. I'm an amateur. But guess what? This amateur did build us with blurry vision. But anyway, the first thing I did to this lower, let me take this out. First thing I did was the magazine release. Not the first thing I did. So pretty much to do the magazine release, you'll put this part right here. As you can see, see how it's coming out? You put this part right here and there's a spring that goes inside and then you will put this right on top of that spring and you will want to push. Let's say you got the, the pin or the punch. You want to put this in that hole and press down on it and pretty much just screw this over. Like just keep turning it, keep turning it till it's good enough. And once you do that, it should be like, but right there is almost flush. I didn't want to do it too tight, but this is good enough. I want to show you why it's good enough. Give me a second. So I'm gonna put the magazine in here. Right, the magazine's in. See, it's in, and once you press the button, it comes right out. So, after you do that, right, that's done. So to do the bolt catch, now this is the one that really got me. So basically you have a detent that goes in here with a spring. Not a detent, is it a detent? I don't know, it's a black thing that goes into this, it's like a little area right here. Now. I'm just going through this quickly, but I would do another video when I get the other lower. But you put the spring and the other piece in here, then you will sit this right here. Then you're going to take another one of these, I don't know, I'm going to say detent as well. You're going to put it right here. See what this, this hole is? Put it right here. You're going to want to take your punch. And I've seen a lot of people put tape here so they won't damage the firearm when they gotta hit this in. And as you can see, I did this multiple times. Multiple times, and guess what? I didn't scratch anything. Thank God, because I'm stupid. I should have put a tape there, but I didn't. But good thing I didn't scratch it up. But I did scratch this part up. Where is it? I think it's in the other one. Is it on the other one? I think it's the other one, let me see. Yep, there it is. It's on this one. So I did end up scratching it a little bit, but it's okay. I mean, it can't be perfect all the time. You, it's going to have some type of wear. But anyway, so what you want to do is take your punch, line it up. If you got somebody that could help you, cool. Or you could put it up like this between your legs. It doesn't matter. So once you put that lined up right here, you're going to want to take this. I don't know what to call this, but... You don't want to take this and hold the, the pin punch and just hit it. Now, you can't tap it. And I did put um, oil on it to, you know, get it in there easy. But you just can't tap it like this. You got to, mm, 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 mm. And then once it's in, your bolt catch will be done. And that's the second thing I did. Then I did the front takedown pin so this was a little more difficult but once again it's not difficult if your eyes are good mine was blurry so i had to see i couldn't see exactly what i was doing but it's pretty easy you can put a um, detent and a spring right here i put some oil on this so it can make it easier so i put a screwdriver through here once i got the detent and spring here i pulled the detent and spring down and i put the screwdriver over it so now they got some grooves in here. So basically what you do is you're going to take this side and start pushing it to where the screwdriver is. So then once the screwdriver is out the way, that detent and spring is going to go into the grooves and bam, it's in. Simple. 
Now with the trigger, I can't really explain the trigger, but it is parsed in here. So when I do get my other um, lower kit, I will go into more detail on how to do it. Now, once again, if I, if I struggle to do it, I will just show y'all what I need to do. And then I'll show y'all after that I get it because my eyes are still blurry, so it can't be 100%. So, bam. So after that, um, yeah, I would do the rear. You can do that at any time, but do the rear takedown. I already showed you how to do it. Then do the um, safety selector with the grip and the buffer tube last, and that's it. That's all you got to do. And then that'll be completed. That will be completed. So all you need is this, this, some oil, and an Allen key to build you an AR-15. That's it. If I could do, do it with my vision being blurry, y'all definitely could do it. It's not hard. It look hard, but it's not hard. Because the hardest thing that I had to deal with was the boat catch. Because I couldn't see. So it was hard to get that little piece there. Then to get this little point onto that piece and bang it. Now, the trigger was pretty... It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. I struggled with the boat catch. So with the trigger, it works. Ready? Bam. That's it. It works. So everything is working on this, this um, lower. So now that I got it completed, I will be building all of my rifles from now on. But I don't want this video to go too long because I do got another video to make. I got two videos. But other than that, y'all, let me know what y'all think. Leave a comment. I would love your feedback. I would love to hear anything y'all need to say, whether it's negative or positive. But I did do it with my vision being blurry. Like the video. Support the channel. Please subscribe. Peace. One love, y'all.